एवरी वन आई होप यू आर डूइंग गुड आई वुड लाइक टू प्रसेंट इन दिस वीडियो अबाउट शटल वॉल यूजिंग इन अड्रॉलिक सिस्टम लेट सी हाउ शटल वॉल वर्क इन अड्रॉलिक सर्क्यूट एंड हाउ द शटल वॉल इज अप्लाइड इन दिस हाइड्रॉलिक सिस्टम बिफोर गोइंग दट हाइड्रॉलिक सिस्टम ऑफ शटल वॉल I would like to recall the logic gates because shuttle valve is works based on the logic gates. We studied about the logic gates of AND gate, OR gate, NAND gate, NOR gate, and OR gate like that. So shuttle valve is works under the logic of OR gate. Let's see how the shuttle valve works under the logic gate. shuttle valve shuttle valves otherwise called as an or valve because it's basically works under the function of or logic so what is the or logic or logic so or logic has it has minimum of two inputs to produce a single output while considering as an x y as an input and z as an output so we have two combinations because x and y so with this x and y two inputs we have four combinations like that x and y are deactivate and how the output will arrive like that if x is enabled input 1 is enabled and then input 2 y is not enabled disable means what is the output of this logic if x is deactivated disable and y is activator what is the output of this combination if last one is if both x and y both the inputs are enabled what is the logic output of the or gate so we said it if any one of the input enables means the or logic will produce the output this is the basic logic behind the or logic if both the inputs are deactivated means the output is deactivated it's not enabled if any one of the input like x or y any one of the input is activated means it will produce output if both the inputs are activated also it all it also gives the output this is the basic logic of the or gate so based on this one only we are going to work for the shuttle valve so what is this shuttle valve this is the ansi symbol of the shuttle valve so shuttle valve has a two check valves with a common float valve this is our check valve number 1 this is check valve number 2 this line indicates the fluid supply line this is input 1 this is input to second line this is an output line okay this two inputs gives the output based on this two input line the output will be produced okay here in this input line we using the check valve number 1 input 2 we using the check valve number 2 with a common float if a fluid enters if a hydraulic fluid enters means the liquid enters the fluid enters through this line means the float valve will floats under the fluid okay so if fluid is not supplied in the fourth one is like in a zero if fluid enters into the is not entered into the port two it's considered as a zero means if both the inputs are not enabled means the output is zero if fluid enters in the first input if fluid not enters into the second input means if fluid enters means what will happen means the fluid enters into the zone line the fluid pushes the float valve towards the center and the float valve is here initially so this check valve will 
flows in inside the line and the fluid flows through here and the here the fluid will segregate it like outwards and also towards the input too so due to the more pressure this float for bar again pushes to this check bar number 2 if here check bar number 2 means the check bar remains take gone to this closed position so fluid will not flow in this direction so fluid only that flow through this direction only so this is the combination of this second logic okay so when consider the third combination it is vice versa if input one is not activated if input two is activated means the fluid enters to this line and it is reverse process the fluid comes this way and the float ball goes to the check ball number one and it will close and the fluid will supply only through this line so output is getting this is why we saw second logic and the final one is fourth one fourth one is both the inputs are activated if this input is activated if this input is activated means the free pressure here pressure p1 here pressure p2 both the pressure are p1 and equal to p2 both the pressures are equal means the float ball floats in the center so the fluid enters in this direction also the fluid enters in this direction also the free floats over the float ball and passes and it will produce the output this is the basic mechanisms carried out in the shuttle bar this mechanism is based on this simple r logic okay let's see how the cylinder is basically actuated with this shuttle bar system let's consider as a in a hydraulic system we have a single actuator actuator cylinder so single acting cylinder is normally a spring return we have a only one inlet one port this port is act as an inlet and also outlet normally the speed if you fluid enters into this port means the piston extracts if the fluid is not supplied means due to the spring tension the piston will retract this is the basic mechanism carried out in the single acting cylinder so with the help of single acting cylinder i am going to perform how the shuttle valve is going to operate this is the basic shuttle valve this output line connected to the single acting cylinder so this two input lines two input lines are connected to the direction control valves this is i am going to use the 3 by 2 push button spring return direction control valve because it has three ports port number 1 port number 2 port number 3 three ports and then just two question this is this square box indicates the position number 1 this square box indicates the position number 2 as like this input the another input is also connected to the another 3 by 2 direction control valve by using this direction control valve only we are going to change the position of the actuator so for this we have to supply the fluid medium this both the 3 by 2 diesel valves going to supply by the fluid of hydraulic system this is an hydraulic fluid system this hydraulic fluid system is connected with an motor whenever it turns on the motor the hydraulic pump will 
pumps the fluid towards this line and the fluid will supply in this direction also and then in this direction also with an equal amount of pressure P1 here pressure P2 when the fluid enters into this valve here the port is closed here also the port is closed whenever we press this push button here I am going to press this push button with the spring return motion the position of this position will be disengaged and this position will be engaged then this point will connect to this point and the fluid will flow through this line and it's towards this line so the fluid will pass like this afterwards what I already explained the mechanism of the shuttle valve here the fluid enters means the float valve which goes to the other end the fluid will flow here the output will enable the cylinder will the, the cylinder's pistons will extend the extracts extracts here we are placing the workpiece workpiece for punching operations punching operations means here we are going to punch the workpiece like that the operation is has to carry out so this is a simple mechanism like the, here I am explaining only for the the left side of this DCB, input of DCB as like this, this DCB also enabled if you press this push button means the fluid also flows through this port this, this position will disengage and this position will engage and this fluid will flow through this line and then also it will be actuated so if you stop the fluid pressure means automatically the cylinder will return to this spring mechanism so this shuttle valve carries the fluid with the help of two direction control valve why we are using direction control valve or shuttle valve means because of the safety position so neighbors are working in a single hand with a single uh, single hand they are going to work and on another hand they are using a mobile phone like that so the unconsciously they have going in depth with the some other activities so it, it turns to a uh, fault finding mechanism or the accidents of mechanism so to avoid the accident mechanisms we have to use the two hands for this fail safety system so thank you thank you for your watchable video thank you